In recent years, artificial intelligence, commonly referred to as AI, has been in the spotlight for its rapid innovations. From deepfakes to art contests, the advancement of AI has been both impressive for some and concerning for others. At Berry College, however, a new tool utilizing AI technology has garnered the attention of teachers and school faculty members. This tool, called ChatGPT, was created by research and development company OpenAI in November of 2022. But what is ChatGPT and why is it so concerning? Professor Brian Carroll, department chair of Barry College's communication department, gives some insight on what ChatGPT is. It's a derivation or variation of GPT, a generator, um, that is driven by artificial intelligence, uh, which is the generative part, so it's not just copying and pasting things, it is generating new things based on the collective output, expression, and wisdom of creators gone past. I bet ChatGPT could give a better definition of itself than I just did. To test that theory, we prompted the program to describe itself better than Dr. Carroll. ChatGPT describes itself as an AI chatbot designed to carry conversations with humans. It also notes its capability to generate essays on virtually any topic. However, it warns that its accuracy is not always guaranteed for the information and language it produces. Mark Taylor, an associate professor of English, describes his opinion on the work produced by ChatGPT when compared to actual students. On one level, it's impressive. If we think of uh, when and where will computers ever pass the Turing test, I think ChatGPT is uh, beginning to give that question a run for its money. Uh, has it, is it there? Have we finally passed the Turing test? Can the communications of chat GPT fool us to think it's a human? I believe it could be a stupid human. I don't, it, 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 I, would, I wouldn't believe it's one of my top students. Typically when a teacher catches a student cheating on an essay for plagiarizing or copying from others, it is reported to the provost's office for academic dishonesty. However, because of ChatGPT's ability to generate a uniquely written essay, a new threat is posed to the academic integrity of Barry College. David Slade, Barry College's interim provost, details what he believes is the true threat to Barry brought by this new technology. Do we have an issue with academic dishonesty? An issue meaning, do we, are we okay with academic dishonesty? Are we okay with that? For me, that's, that's a problem for Barry College. If we as a community are okay with academic dishonesty, that's the problem, not chat GPT. In response to this new threat to academic integrity, the Center for Teaching Excellence and Faculty Development will host a workshop session to discuss how teachers should approach technology like chat GPT. Dr. Melissa King, director of Barry College's Writing Center, will be a co-facilitator for this workshop. She says that it is essential to discuss how to properly plan an approach to the issue instead of trying to deal with it immediately. The general approach is to educate. Um, and that means the first step is to kind of get a sense of who, who amongst us has, has heard of this and who has encountered it. Um, and just to get a sense of what it is before we get really reactionary about it. Um, and so that's why that first step is a workshop. Like, let's talk about what this is. Let's talk about what it can do. Let's talk about what it can't do, which, by the way, is an awful lot. Um, and then let's start thinking about how we're going to deal with any potential problems that we might see. With Viking Fusion News, this is Roger Thomas using OpenAI's new chatbot, ChatGPT, to write an outro by telling you that AI is the future. So why not let it do the talk?